now and then a new product comes along that promises to change the way we think about traditional gadgets. I'm Erin for Best Buy Canada's blog and Bose has recently released a new product that promises to do just that. This is the Bose Soundware and what makes it truly unique is that it's what's called a personal speaker. It's not a device you're going to put on a surface around you. No, instead this device is something you're going to wear on your body. I recently had a chance to test out a Bose Soundware for two weeks and here's what I found. Bose calls Soundware a companion speaker. It's a U-shaped speaker that wraps around your neck and directs sound primarily to you. Bose says the speaker rests comfortably on your shoulders with sound that's full and clear to you, yet, quote, minimizes the sound for others. The setup process for the Bose Soundware is really easy. There's a little power button on the side here. You'll turn that on and it'll give you a battery level as well. But there's also a small Bluetooth button here. So you'll push and hold that. And if you can hear what it said, ready to connect. Once you get that message, you'll go to your phone's Bluetooth menu, find the Bose Soundware in there, tap to connect, and you should be ready to go. Once they're hooked up to your phone, you place them around your neck and let the music play. The unit is pretty light and it's shaped in such a way that it stays put as you move around. Laying back, these are really comfortable, whether you're reclining on the couch or laying in bed. It doesn't feel like you're laying on something hard or something obstructing you. I can definitely picture taking a nap wearing the Bose Soundwear. If you're wondering how much these move around as you move through your day, uh, I can bend pretty much right over and they stay exactly put on my shoulders. Um, in terms of just general movement, bending, picking things up, they actually stay put pretty well. I wondered what it would be like to go out for a run or a jog with these on and take my word for it when I say I don't think it would be enjoyable. Well, they're pretty secure when you're standing still or moving around. If you were going to get any kind of bounce or motion out of these, they would bounce around, I think, on your shoulders and probably get pretty annoying after a while. So in my personal opinion, I would not be using these for things like running or jogging. The Bose Soundwear personal speaker isn't what I'd call rigid or hard. It's really flexible. It's got a lot of movement to it. So even if you have to sort of pull it apart to get it around your neck, you're probably not going to do any damage to it. Um, it's also got a really nice soft cover on it and the zipper is well enclosed. So even if you're going to wear this kind of against your bare skin, you're probably not going to notice it. It's probably not going to annoy you. Now, if you had a larger neck, I do wonder about how well it would fit. As it is, it's not supposed to be tight around your neck like a necklace or a collar. It's really meant to sit kind of just on your shoulders. So I'm pretty confident that it's going to fit most people. Wearing a speaker around my neck is a completely new sensation and it's like nothing I've ever experienced. It's unusual and different, but definitely not unpleasant. It feels kind of like the speaker has created this sort of cocoon or bubble or space helmet of sound around your head so that the audio is directed just for you. And it's a really interesting sensation and it's a really nice listening experience. Not surprisingly, the sound quality is outstanding. It's crisp and clear, the vocals cut through well, and there's no raspiness or hollowness. The bass is actually pretty good too, and you can feel it around you, and the reverberations inside your personal sound bubble are fun. So could you use Bose Soundware as a speaker? In theory, you could take them off, set them down, and use them as a speaker, but they're not really designed for that. I can clearly hear the audio emanating from them when they're sitting on the coffee table, for example, but it doesn't sound as good. I noticed a lot of raspiness and the sound was flatter when they were sitting down in front of me. It seems like you lose a lot of low end if you're not actually wearing them. There's another feature of the Bose Soundware which makes them really unique. On Bose's website, the company says that by using the Soundware device, you can enjoy top quality audio while minimizing the sound for others. And I have to say, after trying them out, I don't agree with this statement. That's because it's easy to hear the sound from the Soundware even from across the room. Is it as loud as what you might get from a Bluetooth speaker? Probably not. I guess it depends on what volume levels we're talking about. But if you have an idea that this personal wearable speaker will somehow direct sound straight into your ears and create a cone of silence around you so no one else can hear, that's not the way it works. So what's it like for you and the people around you when you're wearing the Bose Soundware? So obviously you can hear what's coming from these at the distance I'm at from the camera to me here. I liken it to wearing a pair of headphones around your neck when you've got the volume on quite loud. 
So I'm gonna switch this from the bows to the beats. And you can hear it that you can still hear it. So that's kind of what the experience is like to me, though I will say that listening to this bleeding out of the headphones, definitely not as good as the Bose Soundwear sounds. On their website, Bose is pretty upfront about there being a delay when watching videos. So these are not meant to be used to watch videos on your smartphone or tablet, and they're no good for gaming either. I'd say the battery life on the Bose Soundware is pretty good. You're going to get about 12 hours of use on a single charge, and with just 15 minutes of charge, you can get a further three hours of use. Now that's on par with other, say, wireless Bluetooth headphones, for example. Worth pointing out though, that while these are charging, you can't use them. In general, I was surprised at how much I enjoyed my Soundware experience. The audio quality is off the charts great, and the space helmet bubble effect of sound that it creates around your head is pretty cool. The bass you get from the device is strong and feels really neat as it reverberates into your shoulders and around your head. Overall, the Bose Soundware device is pretty comfortable to wear and rather unobtrusive, and I definitely wear it around the house for doing things like chores or outside doing yard work. I didn't really agree with Bose's assessment that this minimizes sound to people around me. I think it's quite obvious what I'm listening to and how loud to the people that are around me. So maybe it's not quite as bad as using a Bluetooth speaker if you're trying not to disturb others, but it is definitely noticeable. Now it's easy to set up and use. The connectivity was good. I didn't get a ton of breakup or dropouts. I didn't get any actually. So the Bose Soundware sells for about 399 Canadian dollars. You can get it at Best Buy. And if you want to read more about it, there's a full blog online at blog.bestbuy.ca. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it helps me keep making more videos that I hope you all can watch and enjoy. I'm Erin. Find me on Twitter or Instagram until the next video at Aaron L Y Y C.